the Honourable Member for Welland. Mr. Speaker, these EI changes will have sweeping impacts on the agricultural sector. Conservatives are attacking communities that rely on seasonal industries like fruit growers, horticultural growers, beef farmers, the fisheries, and many more. None of these farmers were consulted, Mr. Speaker. When this minister makes major policy announcements without any consultations, she puts those very businesses and farms at risk. The question is simple. Why did he choose to ignore farmers, and why did he choose to not consult with those businesses that are greatly affected? Tradition. The Honourable Minister of Human Resources. Coming from beautiful Haldeman in Norfolk, as I do, much of our econ economy is seasonal work. In fact, over half of our economy is agriculture. So I'm very sensitive to those needs, but I also know that I have a lot of employers there who are looking for temporary foreign workers because they have challenge finding Canadians who will do those jobs. Mr. Speaker, we want to connect the people, Canadians who are unemployed, with the jobs available in their areas. That's better for them. But, Mr. Speaker, when it comes to agriculture, Here's a quote I'd like to share with you. We took a look at them, being the EI reforms, but we didn't find anything that was a warning sign, he said. Who said that, Mr. Speaker? Ron Bonnet, the president of the Canadian Federation of Agriculture. The Honourable Member for Welling. Well, Mr. Speaker, you know, we actually had them come before the, the Agriculture Committee. We could actually ask some questions. But then, of course, they didn't actually come before the committee, did they? So here's what the chair of the Canadian Agricultural Human Resource Council told the committee, because he had to go before the different committee, he said, quote, we will have a net negative effect on agriculture. This is the employer who's looking for employees. They represent over 300,000 employees across the agricultural sector and the manufacturing sector and the food processing sector, and they say there's a major issue. When will the Conservatives stop rushing this bill, take a step back, take a deep breath, consult farmers, consult the industries, and find a way to make this work properly? Get whiplash listening to the NDP economic philosophy. First of all, they don't want Canadian workers to work. They don't want us to give them help in finding new jobs. They want instead to offer them a 45-day work year, depriving employers of much-needed skills and resources. Then they have repeatedly said publicly they don't want us to bring in temporary foreign workers because that's bad for Canadian workers, whom they don't want to work either. So, Mr. Speaker, who's exactly. supposed to do the work around here? Mr. Speaker, we want to help all Canadians get the work, do the work they can, and be better off. Here, here.